what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm just going to be doing a video talking today about the upcoming ninth entry in the saw franchise spiral from the book of saw that's coming out next month on may 14th 2021 after it was pushed into this year it was supposed to come out in may of last year but it was delayed for reasons we all are aware of but this ninth entry will be reviving the saw franchise for the first time since the 2017 film jigsaw which that in and of itself kind of focused on the same thing that this movie is trying to do a jigsaw copycat now personally my my favorite film from this franchise is the original i think that's the strongest one i understand that the sequels specifically two and three and four kind of uh they add and help rationalize some of the things that are left unanswered from the first film but there's been nothing that tops that twist that we get at the end of the original and tobin bell in the titular in the titular role as the villain jigsaw he is amazing in that role we know that the film series revolves around his character john kramer who is the jigsaw killer in this universe he puts people in these traps trying to test their will to live and trying to push them to the ultimate limit so that they come out on the other side of these traps with a new appreciate with a newfound appreciation for life as they seem to have taken it for granted and we know they most of the people that are caught up in these situations they all have done some type of dirty deeds in their life we know john kramer himself he's he's pushed to the brink and his newfound appreciation comes after he tries to kill himself in a attempted suicide after he's diagnosed with cancer after he loses his baby after uh, a drug addict breaks into his ex-wife's clinic and causes her to have a miscarriage so tobin bell he was the heart and soul of that franchise that he still very much is i don't think he's gonna have any type of cameo appearance in this film i know he was in jigsaw he was in that film and his character john kramer has actually been dead since the third film in and of itself this film here spiral from the book of saw seems like it's going to be taking us in a whole completely different direction but don't be surprised if it somehow ties back in to the original seven films because the the things that happen along the way in this franchise they're very convoluted we have these many apprentices that we learn about amanda hoffman dr gordon from the original film and then i think logan is his name from the recent one jigsaw jigsaw in and of itself is very convoluted as it's mostly both a prequel and a sequel and sort of a reboot mostly a prequel and a sequel so where spiral from the book of saw is going to fit in i don't i don't even know i do have a hunch that it's not set in modern day if it is set in modern day good but from the looks of the trailer from the lack of certain devices that i would expect to see in movies that are set in today's uh world I don't think Spiral from the Book of Saw is set in the late 2019s or anything like that. I think it's, I, I really don't know. I feel like they're, this might be taking place before Jigsaw even, and maybe sometime after the events of Saw 3, but who who knows? They, it's not really clear where this film is falling at in terms of like its timeline, but the film in and of itself is coming to us from Chris Rock, who had, he, he played a big part in this creative direction and apparently it was good enough to convince them to let him do this movie and the premise for this is working in the shadow of an esteemed police veteran marcus bank uh who is going to be played by samuel jackson his estranged son brash detective ezekiel ezekiel banks who is played by chris rock and his rookie partner detective william shank or shank take charge of a grisly investigation into murders that are eerily reminiscent of the city's gruesome past unwittingly trapped in a deepening mystery zeke finds himself at the center of the killer's morbid game now the interesting thing from the trailers because the trailers they look they have me interested i'm very much interested in this film this is the, probably the first time i've been interested in a saw film since the original i've seen all of them only a handful of times i can honestly count count it on my hand i've seen probably all the saw movies minus jigsaw because jigsaw just came out i've seen that movie probably just two times i've seen all the saw films at least five or six times each that's that's how little i have an interest in the franchise just because of how convoluted it became with each subsequent sequel now that original film i've seen that more times than i can count i will sometimes just watch that film 
and just turn not even bother watching any of the sequels this trailer here though i'm intrigued because the interesting thing that i that i got hooked on was this idea of targeting cops uh now that might be a little political to some given the climate that we're in uh maybe there's some type of hidden statement trying to be made in, in response to all the stuff going on in this, in our current climate with the police officers and civilians all these situations we constantly see on the news but i think that jigsaw's legacy is going to be continued in some manner and what i mean by that is i wouldn't be surprised if hoffman shows up if maybe dr gordon somehow gets factored in but my whole theory here is with tobin bell being like this because this is his most notable thing being the jigsaw killer from the saw franchise i think if they're trying to revitalize this franchise and breathe new life into it the only way to really do that is if either it's chris rock or samuel L. jackson that are the new copycat jigsaw killer now based off the voice that we hear in the trailer it is feminine so clearly there's either two things going on either we're being fooled to think it's a think it's a woman or there's a woman involved but at the end of the day this person this voice that we're hearing in this trailer they're not going to be the puppet master now if chris rock or samuel L. jackson end up being the ones pulling the strings that's going to have me very intrigued and I think that would be a very clever direction to take because then you could take this franchise into the future with Samuel Jackson probably be the better fit if he were the killer to carry the franchise in terms of having a new notable mainstream actor who is now going to be carrying the subsequent sequels or other entries that come in the saw films after spiral because they've already got saw 10 in development saw X and again I'm not sure where this falls in the timeline. This movie could fall anywhere, but the fact that they're targeting cops, that has me very intrigued. And they're not just trying to teach people a lesson. They're just looking to kill. Something happened. I'm it, I'm not, I'm not going to be surprised if it's someone involved in the police force. Not at all. Some type of traumatic event happened. Maybe somebody who was involved with the previous original killing sprees from Jigsaw. And they want some type of justice. Because that's what this is all about. Some type of sick form of justice. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What are you looking forward to the most from Saw or from Spiral from the Book of Saw? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video. In the description, I have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.